Welcome to Nifty Notions from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's explore the possibilities of highlighter tape. Here's a package of six different colors of highlighter tape. Now you can buy this in different sizes and in different quantities. You can also buy it individual and in packages. Highlighter tape is not a scotch tape. It's a tape that's designed to help us in sewing. And the most popular thing is to use it for rulers. And different colors will just show up better on different fabrics. So I'm going to take that ruler, find the proper size, and then cut. To speed this up, I mark the back of the ruler. For example, I need pieces cut 3 inches by 5 inches. So I find my 5 inch mark and I put the tape along that 5 inch mark. I also put a piece of tape where I don't want to use the measurements. These extra pieces of tape, which I can get right from these edges once I've trimmed them off, are just reminding me this is not the right side of the ruler this is the right side of the ruler I happen to be using a ruler that's three inches and I have that five inch mark the tape will not be on the fabric so at any time if I see the tape showing up on the fabric I know that is incorrect so I'm going to be able to go right to that tape line and now I can cut so without having to count, I'm just going to be able to continuously cut and I'm not worried about accidentally cutting a wrong size. We can also build a ledge. So right along that mark, I can put three or four different layers of this tape. That is giving me a lip so that the fabric will not go over. So it sort of helps me put that fabric exactly where it needs to go. So I have less to even think about. That's just going to slide right up against that fabric. That works great for one cut, but if I have more than one cut, I'll put multiple tapes. My next cutting sizes, I need strips at two and a half inches. I need to cut pieces at five and a quarter and six and a half. These extra pieces of tape are telling me this is not the correct side, this is the correct side. I already have my strips cut at two and a half inches. Now I don't need to count on the ruler. I could do my one cut, move my ruler for my second cut. So it's very easy for me just to go all the way along that piece of fabric and not worry about making a mistake. I know my cuts are accurate. And it makes it really fast to cut. We can also use that tape to mark our square rulers. I need a smaller square than the ruler that I have. So I'm marking the edge where the fabric is going to go. And I also am going to mark a center. So right along the back of the tape, I found my center line. So I'm going to be able to use the edge of the tape and match it up to the edge of the fabric. And I'm going to be able to cut. And if I have a pattern that I need to center, I'm going to be able to center it with my little pen marks. And when you're done, the tape comes off along with that marking. So we did not hurt the ruler at all. We can also use this on our sewing machines. If we want to have a certain seam allowance, we can put that tape there and we can build it up. It does remove easily, so we can put it wherever we need. So that tape will just help us line up that fabric. And when we're done, it just comes off and it doesn't leave any residue like a scotch tape would. We can also use it for marking our mats. So they're good for reminders, they're good for markers, and they're good for keeping us accurate. This particular roll is a half inch wide and they do not ruin your rulers. I use this highlighter tape all the time in my sewing room. I really do find it helps with accuracy, it helps me not make as many mistakes, and it speeds up my cutting time and my sewing time if I'm using a seam allowance that I'm not accustomed to. Marking those rulers really speeds up a lot of time. Be sure you put those little extra pieces of tape to say, no, no, not this side of the ruler, I'm using this side. 
It's just another product that helps our sewing go together so much easier. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, and I do have a newsletter all under So Very Easy. And come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.